Hello, it is Cheryl here, brand strategist and graphic designer behind Made on Sunday Studio, an inspired and relaxing studio space for all things branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship. Now today, I have another exciting video to show you. Um, it is all about creating a digitally fillable workbook or worksheet right in Canva. Now, if you're a content creator or a coach or um, you know a blogger influencer and you wanna engage with your audience or provide a freebie or a digital product of some sort, a really great way to do that is by creating a digitally fillable uh, worksheet or workbook so that your customers or your clients or your audience can then fill in right online and then they can save it. Um, so I'm gonna show you today how to create that. And usually I create it on InDesign, but if you're not a designer or you don't know how to use Adobe products um, and, or you don't wanna pay for it, there's actually a completely free way to do it on Canva as well as um, on a secret website that I'm about to show you. So let's dive into my laptop and create that fillable workbook of yours. All right, so to begin creating your fillable workbook on Canva, you need to sign into Canva and on your homepage, um, you can um, either start from scratch. So you might want to create um, a US letter document, or if it's a different size, then you know, we can type in your uh, custom dimensions. But for me, I like to start with a template. So if you are, you go into documents, you can actually find a ton of different um, templates uh, that you can start with. Uh, but for today's video, I'm actually going to use a template that I created. Um, you can actually purchase this on Etsy. Um, it's a template made for coaches, um, which if you'd like to, um, you know, create a workbook, this is like, you know, the wheel of life and um, kind of like self-help uh, prompt questions. Uh, I just made this template so that coaches can easily just plug and play really easily. So um, all you have to do is open the template and then, you know, uh, customize it as you need to, um, change up the text, change the photos, um, all of that. And then um, if you want to create, you know, spaces where people can can fill, uh, then all you have to do is create these uh, little text boxes. So if you go into elements, I'm just going to delete one of them so that I can show you how to create it from scratch. Uh, if you go under shapes, you can go here and then you can adjust the size of the text box and just align it to your text like that. And um, I'd recommend using a really light pale color so that when you are, uh, so that when someone is typing into this box that it's they're not gonna, you know, not be able to read the text. So I'm just gonna, let's say something like this. Um, maybe even lighter. So all you do is go to color and you can just bring this to a lighter shade. There you go. If you type on top of this, for sure you're gonna be able to read it. But then uh, default, when people look at this, they would uh, definitely feel like they can type into it. So right now on Canva, you're not going to be able to do that, but just set up your document as if people can type into it right now. So um, if you wanted to create different sections uh, where they can type it in, in list form or whatever it might be. Um, so set up your document um, and Another thing that you might want to create in your fillable ebook is to be able to uh, create links. So right here, um, you can actually go, let's say this whole thing needs to be linked. You can click on either the graphic or on the text um, and you can click on this link button right here um, and just fill in your address. So let's say for me, made on sundays.com apply now this text is going to be uh, linkable uh, so if someone were to click on this it would link to my website I actually like to link um, the graphic as well so that it covers more space so I'm just gonna do the same thing 
there we go um, and then obviously you probably want to link your website uh, down here as well you can actually link images as well so let's say um, this image right here you want to link it to your website you can do the same thing click on link and then yeah so once your document is completed let's say I filled this all in I changed it to my colors to my images and to the content that I need it to be now you can save this document so just go up here in uh, actually this button right here where it says download um, so there's a couple of options you can either do PDF standard or PDF print now if you are doing um, if this is just an e-document, which it is for me in my case because it's going to be a fillable document, so obviously you can only do that um, digitally, um, then you just PDF standard is good enough. If you, this uh, is meant to be printed uh, by whoever is using this, then you might want to use PDF print so that it's a uh, higher quality. But because this is only used digitally for my case, then I'm just going to create it in PDF standard so that it doesn't take so the file size isn't too big. Um, I want all of the pages to be downloaded so I just click on download. Alright we're gonna while we wait for this document to download now you need to create um, make all of those text boxes that you created earlier um, into a fillable box. So if I click into this so this is the document I just created. If you go into the text box area, you're going to see, you know, I can't fill it in. You're like, Cheryl, I thought you said you created these text boxes so you can fill them in. Now we're going to do this in step two, okay? Um, those links uh, are still going to work. So I think I linked this one. So if I click into here, it's going to go to the website, manonsundays.com, okay? Perfect. But I need to create the step two, which is to link these text boxes. So I'm just going to um, save this document into here, my desktop, so I can access it easily. Okay, so now you're going to use this separate website called PDF Escape. Now I'll link this in the description below. I love this website because it's free and it's easy to use. So all you have to do is go to PDF Escape and then I'm going to drag that document right here. And this is why you want to use um, or download your document in a smaller file format because if you download it in a big file format it's going to take forever for you to upload this document into PDF Escape. Alright, accept cookies. Perfect, so now on PDF Escape you're going to be able to um, create those fillable boxes. So all of these need to be fillable boxes so on the left here you can actually add text and white out but all we need here is um, form field so click on form field um, and then you can choose whatever you want so it could be like text is just like one-liner text this is a paragraph form you can do check boxes um, I'm not actually sure what radio is I've never used that you can do drop-down uh, forms, list, reset button, submit button, um, lots of different great options but for us this is like a little paragraph section so I'm going to put text paragraph um, and then select. So now you're going to be able to select the area that you want the text box to be in. So right here this is the area and then now you can actually choose um, they have limited number of font um, choices but it doesn't really matter at this point so I'm just going to use Arial text size let's say you know standard I usually use a, a 10 and then you can actually change the color as well and then once this is done you're good and then um, you can actually duplicate it I don't even know how that happened <laughs> just now oh I see sorry so um, right now um, you are actually still clicked into this so every time you click on the screen it's actually going to create another text box so that's convenient so I'm just going to 
put all the text boxes here and then you can move this one and it's just gonna go to the default of what you did last time so um, when I put in Arial and 10 it's gonna do that again so super easy um, let's fill in all of these boxes here that might take a couple minutes Okay, I'm just going to do this page uh, for the sake of this tutorial. Let's You have to do the rest of these to make sure, um, you know, play around with the different form field options. Um, but most likely you're going to be using a text paragraph if it's going to be a paragraph of text and then maybe check boxes so that um, I don't have any check boxes in this um, template. So we're not going to be using that today. All right, so now you want to save and download this new document that you've created. So you're going to go here. This is just saving it. You have to click on this button to save and download. Super quick. And now you can click on this. This new PDF that you created. Go down and let's test out these form fields that you just created. So now you can click on here and you can type. So hello. Um, this is your new form field. All right, and that is how you create a completely free, digitally, digitally editable um, a workbook or worksheet right on Canva and then uh, exporting it on PDF Escape. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're interested in the template uh, that I used today in this tutorial, uh, you can actually purchase it on my Etsy shop. It is etsy.com slash shop slash made on Sunday studio. Um, I'll also provide that link in the description below because it's kind of long. Um, but basically on my Etsy shop, I sell tons of different uh, workbooks, eBooks, worksheet, uh, social media templates, all of your new business design needs uh, right on that Etsy shop. So go check it out. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that notification bell um, so that you know when the next video comes up. I try to post every Sunday um, and I talk about all things related to branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship. So if that is within anything that you are interested in, then uh, follow my channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next next video.